this is Priest Leaving Assembly! We have a load of stuff entertained. We have live music! Drama! And an interview! Okay, so as we start, we are going to start with an interview! Yay! And we are going to start with an interview for Mrs. Priest! Yay! So soon we are going to have a range of questions and we will be asking them to our own head teacher, Mrs. Priest. Mrs. Priest, how are you today? Hello, Tony. I'm really good, thank you. How are you? Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. Oh, this is scary, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Josh is there. So, Mrs. Priest, we have a couple of questions for you today. Some might be good. Oh. Some might be embarrassing. No. Please some not. might it, it contain some secrets. Ooh. So, our first question today. Why did you decide to join this school? Oh, gosh. Right. Well, the reason I wanted to join this school... In fact, I didn't even, I didn't even know this school existed, to be honest. But I was looking for... Um, a deputy headship at the time and somebody said to me why don't you try that school called Milton Hall I was like, I've never heard of it so I drove around here and um, I have to say I drove into the car park of the flats no idea how to get here it is in a bit of an awkward position isn't it but I came in and I um, I walked around and I just absolutely fell in love with it because oh, you shouldn't do this to me <laughs> the children every single child that I I just see Mr. Hortler as well. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of people here. <laughs> oh. um, every single child said hello to me. And what I really loved about this school was there was the, the diversity. We have absolutely nearly every country represented here. And I love that because I used to work in the, uh, what's called the London Borough of Brent. So I always worked in a diverse community. So when I walked around and saw you know, the amazing children here, and let me tell you, you haven't changed, you're all still amazing. Um, I knew I wanted to work here. Um, and I actually, I didn't go for a deputy headship either, it was for an assistant headship. So I started as an assistant head. And um, I met Julie Gregory very early on, and um, Julie told me how it was. She said, well, I won't tell you exactly what Julie said, because uh, <laughs> it was going live, but Julie said, and Julie made me feel really welcome, and. Uh, as well and I, and I actually job shared with Julie in the beginning and I knew I wanted to do that as well so I was sold on it so yeah that's uh, that's why I wanted to work here in the beginning so what has been your favorite year here oh my fa my, my most favorite year oh I can't pick a favorite year every single year has been my favorite year for different reasons I loved um, in fact Mr Spence and I were talking about it today the Olympic year here because we did so many um, different things, uh, celebrating the Olympics when we went out in the field and did the five Olympic rings. Do you remember that? That was incredible. We have done so many fantastic things here that I'm so proud of. Another favourite year was the year we got the plane. If you remember that, that was uh, gosh, where the governors, where the governors. Yeah, we had to do a bit of convincing, didn't we, to uh, convince you we could have a plane on the field. But Mr. Baker did that. And he convinced everyone. So that was another favourite year. Um, I think the, um, the first year, probably two years ago, was it last year, year before, when we, our results were so phenomenal, we, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this alive either, we beat some of those 
good schools, outstanding schools in the borough. Actually, our results, not only our progress was amazing, but our attainment was amazing. And, um, and I was so proud of everybody here and everything we've done. Um, yeah, I went home skipping that night, and uh, not literally skipping, but skipping in my heart. And I was really, really chuffed to do that. Also, one of my other favourite years was when Mr Hortler joined us, because um, Mr Hortler, you were a fantastic deputy. Mr Spence has been a fantastic deputy as well, he still is my fantastic deputy. But I remember Mr Hortler came after, and I will say this to those of you who remember, somebody called Mrs Preville Finlay. What is the most embarrassing moment here at Milton Hall? <laughs> there are many, but I can't talk about them on camera. Um, I will, however, be telling the adults about those in our uh, final thing. Um, most embarrassing moments? Oh, gosh. Do you know, I haven't really had that many embarrassing moments here. I think lots of every, you know, the other staff have had lots of embarrassing moments. Um, <laughs> Mr Spence has had many recently, um, you know, falling falling over on a banana skin when he went for a uh, walk recently. And I think I, I remember... <laughs> but he didn't tell anyone. Um, I did once go flying. It was about five years ago and everyone was in the hall and there was some mashed potato on the floor or something and I did go skidding across the floor. Uh, that was a little bit embarrassing, but um, I managed to get up. Nobody noticed, obviously. Of course they didn't, so that's probably it. So... What has been your most memorable mo moment of working at the school? Oh, gosh. There are so many memorable moments. Um, I think one of our most memorable... The tw first time we did a 24-hour TV show, that was one of my most memorable moments. Uh, the very first year we did it, and we, um, we did not know how it was going to go. As you can see, you can't see, you can see, we can see. Um, children working cameras, children doing live streaming. We took a huge risk. Um, we slept overnight, except we didn't sleep, as you know, because you worked on the last one, Tony. Yeah. That was sort of one of my most memorable moments. And the last one we did as well, in which you... It, in fact, I don't know how many of you actually saw it live. Yeah, Joshua, you were there as well, weren't you, on the TV? You loved it, didn't you? But Tony, it was like the Tony show. <laughs> and that was one of my most memorable moments. Um, other most memorable moments when we got the plane um, and watching George Clark's Amazing Spaces, John Baker making me cry again. Yeah. Those of you that saw that show, I mean, you know, it really came across the passion that, you know, we all have for this school. That's why we're all here. But John Baker, particularly in that clip, it really came. And I sat there and, you know, my lovely husband there sat there and watched it with me. And, um, you know, even you had a tear in your eye, didn't you, sweetheart? It was, yeah, you did. <laughs> so we, we were, you know, that was a memorable moment. I mean, on the field, doing the Olympic rings, the Meghan and Harry. We made the H and the, uh, the M and the H on the field as well. Um, the Queen's Jubilee, where we had uh, that, that party going on. We've had some good parties here, um, outside of school as well. Actually, I can come to them now because I won't be head teacher anymore, so <laughs> I won't have to behave quite as much. So lots of memorable moments. Seeing all of you grow up. Tony, you, want, you are one of my memorable moments as well because I remember you, and I don't know, is Miss Sabic here? Miss Sabic. And I remember us having conversations about little Tony, who was very shy, wasn't he? Very quiet, didn't utter a word. And, as you know, you got my Head Teachers Award last year because I wanted to give it to you before you left because it's for it's children like you that have given me those amazing moments. Sorry. I think that's all we have time for, for the interview today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've got to go. And we will see you in a moment. Okay, bye. <laughs> and now, over to, to Mr Buxton's <laughs> drama oh, I get to see the entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it. Guest of honour, Mrs Priest. Now, I've been head of drama here for and um, served the wonderful Mrs Priest for five years now. So it was my uh, honour to put together this homage to her origin story. Daddy. Now I know, we know she's an incredible Daddy. head teacher that has inspired and delighted thousands of children. Daddy. But did you all know how it happened? Daddy. How this incredible woman got to where she is now? Well, some actors and I 
are going to show you the real story, loosely based on <laughs> The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> we present to you the teacher of Ofsted. <laughs> Our story begins on a farm in Kansas. Do you remember this, Mrs. Priest? Take you back to the beginning. Uh, where a young Mrs. Priest lived with her Aunt M. Do you remember that, Mrs. Priest? Back again. <laughs> and her Uncle Henry. He's too fat. <laughs> now, she loved her aunt. Uh, she kind of liked her uncle. They were, he was okay. But she knew she was destined to walk another path than that of a farmhand. Oh, Miss Priest. Uh, oh, um, I so much. <laughs> Again? And there wasn't even shopping. Got that wolf. Amazing singing voice she had. <laughs> Stuff a legend. Everybody! There's a land that I heard of once in a No, you're not. You can do anything you put your mind to. Really? Yes, of course. I believe in you. Monkeys! Ow! Oh. What? No! My monkeys! <laughs> Mr. Buck 
classrooms how to teach drama, Mr. Smith maths, but in a funny way. <laughs> and Mr. Spence can be my deputy. Just one question. Can I wear the shorts? No. And that is how it all began. From that day, Mrs. Priest spent many years delighting and inspiring children, making the world a much more wonderful and fabulous place. The end. <laughs> Amazing, by the way. Fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. Very impressed. That was one of my memorable moments, if I'm going to have them. That really was. Am I switched on? I think so, yeah. OK. What has been your most famous play or musical we've ever had here? Oh, goodness me. They've done so many. Um, well, this year you did um, Romeo and Juliet, Shakespeare. I don't know. We've all seen it, I think. The um, Actually... My lovely family haven't seen it, but everyone else has seen it. Um, we did Romeo, or the children did Romeo and Juliet at the, the um, Palace Theatre, wasn't it? But not done in normal style. It was, uh, you did it in the 80s. So Tony had a lovely uh, Frankie Says Relax t-shirt on, and uh, we had Michael Jackson in it. That was absolutely amazing. You also did Julius Caesar the previous year as Gangsters. That was another one that's very famous and amazing. But I think for me, it has to be uh, Mr. Buxton's pantomime. So that's <laughs> it. Every year we have a panto, and every year they are absolutely outstanding. So we've had Cinderella, we've had Sleeping Beauty, we've had Peter Pan. Um, Mr. Spence plays a fantastic tree or a princess in all the plays. Wait till you see him this year. <laughs> Won't give it away, but uh, he has, uh, you know, a 